All right, Trial Mob, so I don't always get an opportunity to post some stuff before I end my night, but I was able to get a little bit together for you guys. Big shout out to Patrick for posting some of this and to the community that's been keeping up with everything that we've been able to get down. So to finish up the night, we have Asura, Joy Toy, and Troops of Doom, including some stuff from Halo. And no, not the Halo that you're used to, but let's go ahead and break it down and see if any of this is something that interests you or excites you. All right, you guys, and to start off tonight's news feed, we have some new stuff coming from Troops of Doom, the War of the Mecha Species. So as you can tell, I am not quite sure on the actual size of this. It hasn't been confirmed whether this is supposed to be 118 scale, but as you can see, they have some ginormous um, statues. So it's hard to tell if maybe we're going to be getting some more normal size 118 stuff. And these guys are just obviously just massive in that scale, right? Like these are the Godzillas of this kind of uh, action figure. And I mean, as you can tell in the background here, we get two different ones, right? We have a Razor prototype on the left and the Sharkbot prototype on the right. And the Sharkbot is way larger than the one on the left. So I imagine that the, excuse me, the Rhizor is most likely going to be more closer to that 118 scale, while the Sharkbot looks more like a McFarlane 7 inch. But it is really dope. It is something that is new. Um, I have never heard of these guys before. I did a little bit of digging and was able to find some other photos like that absolutely massive samurai oni looking figure on the left um if you guys know anything else about this um go ahead and let me know i am curious to know when and where this is going to be released because they do have some pretty cool looking stuff and while it doesn't look like any of this is necessarily articulated i imagine the final product will be so that's something to take a look at but again, this is just something that is new to the IP or is a new IP and they got some really cool looking stuff here. I'm, I'm really curious as to what any of this is um, and what it's supposed to be and obviously pricing and, you know, if we could get a catalog, that'd be really nice. But this is definitely some awesome looking stuff um, and depending on how it's articulated and pricing might be a new IP that I might have to dip my toes into. Now, these next photos were brought to you by Addy Del Castillo. These are basically some, you know, I'm not quite sure what the story is behind these. I do believe that these might already be in production, as he mentioned that he wished that they can get them in his, um, in his area. So these are really cool. And right here, what we're actually seeing is Joy Toy figures manning the guns on these, um, I guess they're called Halo and I think that this is super dope. Um, Joy Toy, if you're watching this, you should definitely consider collaboration with making these kinds of um, vehicles for us. Because as you can tell, they are perfectly sized to be able to fit um, Joy Toy uh, figures. And they look great. Um, they man them perfectly. If Joy Toy were to come out and say, no, actually, this isn't Halo. This is Joy Toy. And we make this. I totally believe it because this goes perfectly in scale with a lot of the things that they have coming out right now, especially for us who like buying more realistic figures. I think this definitely fits the bill. So I'm hoping that we do see more of this later. And then even here we see um, Acid Rain in the back. And this looks awesome. The, this sizes up perfectly. Now, I imagine that you won't be able to fit really too many troops in there. But if you imagine you could fit a couple of in there realistically, this would be something that's pretty dope. And we're already getting something like this from the Acid Rain side that obviously matches the aesthetic better. But for Joy Toy things, I think that this is some pretty cool stuff. Now switching over to the Astera side, these were brought to you by Patrick Chan. Big shout out. Um, these are basically in-hand photos of uh, the of the uh, box in hand. And as you can tell, judging by the hand of the of the person holding it, this basically does look uh, a little bit taller than the regular 3.75. I want to say these are more like four and a quarter inch tall because this looks surprisingly, I don't know, large. Now, on top of that, we were able to get photos of the blue slash purple one that we'll be getting out soon. And as you can tell, again, phenomenal posing. There's a lot going on here. This guy has two um, bladed weapons, and it is a nice look. And it does give us a general view of how far, as you can tell in the background, the stand can be, you know, placed behind them, right? He's pretty far out, which is really nice that it does come with a stand. And it does allow you to pose him up pretty nicely. So I think that that is pretty cool. Now, here it does show us that both blades can be connected potentially via another um, tool. Um, so that is pretty cool. And then I imagine it looks like it can peg into his arm. So again, there seems to be a lot of dynamicism to these characters. And I really appreciate that. Again, it just it's a rather pricey figure. But the more I see it, the more I'm starting to see some of its worth. 
Now here we also see that it does come with a full-size sword and that sword is definitely massive and again it does look like it's got some holes so that you can peg other weapons to it which is nice. Um, again I like knowing that these guys come with a lot of weapons but I do hope that they can holster them all onto them. The base itself however even if you cannot holster everything to them does also pop open and it allows us to have a storage space for basically all the extra goodies. Now I'm an inbox collector or should I say I'm somebody that saves my boxes so this might not necessarily be useful to me but if I ever decide to get rid of the boxes it is absolutely phenomenal that I have within it um, if I decide to pose them up with their stands, that their stands act as a placeholder for all their extra hands. And as you can tell, they do come with a lot. And then last but not least, we do get some more promotional, not, I shouldn't say promotional, just images of the green guy, which we haven't seen anything of. But he seems to be more of the weapons expert, or should I say the long range, because um, I'm sure he will come with other guns and the sniper rifle, which does look pretty cool. Um, and again, they do look surprisingly tall and we'll get into one more piece of information that we recently just got today. But let me go ahead and show you guys quickly the purple one one more time. So here we do have him on his stand with everything that we do see on him, the swords, the extra swords. But what's even more cool is that he comes with this chain kunai scythe thing. And I think that is pretty badass. Again, I love having a lot of variety and I appreciate that these guys seem to come for the price tag with a lot of different weapons. You'll be able to pose this guy up many different ways. And again, I do want to see a size comparison. And luckily, that is exactly what we have here. So following this up, we were able to get some Bandai Shoto Kamen Rider stuff. Now, originally, I thought this was SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider. So I was about to say, wow, these are actually, for the price tag, right in line with everything else in terms of height-wise. Um, but I'm not quite sure how big these are. So if somebody can tell me if you've bought this guy before, if you bought in any of the Bandai Shoto Kamen Rider stuff, you're going to know about how tall those are. So please confirm with me how tall these guys are, because as you can tell in this next photo, they're basically identical in height. If you were to tell me these guys are from the same creator, I wouldn't believe you because obviously the guys on the left are just way more dynamic, but they're still really damn good compared to what's on the right. Um, and I would obviously believe that they are at least heighted the same way, which is obviously pretty badass. And then to follow up that notion, we also have one more photo. And as you can tell in terms of a size comparison, the Azura stuff, um, Asura stuff is just the slightest hair taller. Um, actually, you know what? I want to say it's taller. It's, it, it's definitely a little bit taller. Um, so it, these are definitely not short by any means compared to other three and three quarter stuff. But I really can't tell how tall this, tall this is compared to Acid Rain. But again, the price point just continues to become justified. And I think that is something definitely good for this brand. Now to top off the news with some new Joy Toys stuff. So this was straight from their Instagram. You might have seen me posted it earlier on Facebook. Um, so we're getting basically what looks like a new buck from Joy Toy, including some canines, which is pretty badass. Um, this doesn't look like a SWAT guy. This looks like a straight military guy. So I guess these are military dogs. So that is pretty cool. And the military dogs themselves, you can tell, seem to be articulated in the neck, in both the front legs and the back legs, and in each joint that they would naturally have, which is nice. Nice, but for the actual buck that we're getting from for the actual physical character I see two specific differences number one thicker thighs on both sides and slightly broader shoulders which is something that they definitely need a lot of the things that we see from joy toy seem to have slightly shorter should I say shoulders um, but really what we're seeing here is slightly longer elongated shoulder so what I mean by that is that um, the shoulders sometimes kind of slope in and that has been a bit of an issue for Joy Toy with them being able to aim down sight because the shoulders kind of don't come out far enough to give the arms the extra angle they need to hold their guns properly. So here we are seeing a slightly more squared off shoulders at the top, which means the arms themselves fall a little bit more flat down next to the body rather than kind of sticking out like we've seen before. And that goes with the hips as well. Thanks to them being a little thicker, a little more square, this means that you won't have to pull up the pelvis at all um, in order to put them in a position where they are kneeling and aiming down sight. I'm sure you guys have noticed that where you kind of have to lean them back a little bit just to get into that position. But here it looks like you'll be able to put them perfectly in a kneeling position, prone position, whatever you want. And this is a welcome to hopefully soon be released to Joy Toy Stuff.